All right, everybody, welcome to episode 81. We want to start this episode with a big, big thank you for all your support, all the consistent feedback that we've been getting. Me and Zach have been working really, really hard on the show, and we're going to continue to work hard. Too. But we got somewhat of an announcement. Yes. No, please. <laughs> uh, we are starting a new channel, ladies and right. gentlemen. Uh, this channel... It's been a it's been a fun ride. Thanks mm-hmm. to Walid, it was mm-hmm. his channel. He gave up his name, his my uh, identity. He signed it off, but you will be getting it back. Uh huh. But there's a theory out there uh, cool. that if we start a new channel and get some fresh subs, that we will hit the algorithm once again. Um, but our videos are just we ha- we feel we're putting in effort. We're putting in uh, we're the cha- show's been a lot better. We're changing our course. Yep. We're getting a lot better, and we appreciate you guys uh, for watching us. And uh, our loyal subs mm-hmm. that are this on is the, the most fun I've had yes. doing this show. Yeah, for sure. But we just wanted to uh, try out a new channel and see if it can give us some better benefits with yeah. our new efforts that we're putting into the show. We talked to a YouTube rep. From what he's saying is that this channel has been so dormant for so long. Yes. And the type of content that they came into uh, wasn't the same thing we were doing, what, seven, eight years ago? Yeah. Um, so we're going to start fresh, clean slate. We're going to bring all of you guys over to the new channel. What's going to be on the new channel? And then, inshallah. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) Bring a lot into this. God God willing. (laughs) Let's fucking go. (laughs) Uh, We're going to obviously do the pod, same old Zach and Waleed, but we're also going to do lives. Who's going to call into those bad boys? You are going to call. You you are going to call into the lives. Yeah, you are. It's going to be more interactive. Me and Zach love doing it. We love talking to you guys. Uh, we're also going to do more vlogs, classic Zach and Waleed day in the life in vlogs. The car? That's right. Will we get in a car accident? Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh, I'd, I'd check in for that. Thank you, Kenny. Yeah, that would bring me every, back every week. Every title of the vlog, yeah. are they going to crash? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, skits, me and Zach have been tossing around a bunch of skits ideas. So this new channel is going to give us you know, that, that re-motivation uh, into putting all that energy back into. Yeah. You had a, didn't you have a theory? Uh, yeah well i had like i i was putting some thoughts together and after talking to the youtube rep you know uh i actually put this like you know hypothesis together uh here as you can see um, a little illustration for you guys to all understand but old channel bad right Uh, not working old channel we're not hitting the algorithm some people aren't even getting notifications whoa for our episodes yeah they're like hey i clicked in i'm not getting it so we think it's that wow. new channel, though. The working theory is that it's going to be good. Oh, good. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Oh, right? I like that. I, ha- <laughs> yeah. I have one as well. You do? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um. Uh, okay. Here, oh. let me. Yeah. Uh, Zach, what is all this, dude? Let me hold it for you, I guess. I just have a theory here. Just It's just something off the top of my head. It's uh, the YouTube uh, algorithm, the dead follower theory. We talked to a YouTube rep. We have 57,000 dead subs. There are, oh my God, they're so dead. But, you know, some uh, are alive, like around 2,000. We appreciate you guys. But when we post a new video, maybe about Joe Biden, he's uh, Zach, whoa, whoa, he's hiding whoa, whoa, the Zach. algorithm. And it's not really hitting a lot of people. But the 2,000 people that do watch it, we thank you guys so much. We love you guys. Uh, uh, but if we talk about Putin and Tucker Carlson, Carlson uh, Zach. No, Zach, 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 no, no, Zach, no, no, Zach, no, no, you gotta, it's not that deep, dude, it's not that deep, no, 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 We're not gonna give up. We're no, not giving I up, dude. I will die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, we honestly have people have been commenting. Uh, we highlighted on yeah. our Zach Wallet show Instagram that people are seeing a change. Mm-hmm. We yeah. do enjoy podcasting very much. Well, I've met you guys. You guys came to the the pop up. You're like, yo, I listen to the show. I love the show. Yeah. So I know you're real. They're part of the <laughs> the uh, alive subs. That's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still yeah. alive. <laughs> it's a risky yeah. move. But we are willing to try Anything. and just get back yeah. in the fucking 
algorithm yeah. stream. And the good news is that you can still find all of our episodes on this new channel. Everything's going to be coming over to the new channel. So yes. it's not like we're going to delete these videos or these episodes. Mm -hmm. You'll have everything there that you've enjoyed up to this point. And we're really excited for what we're going to make uh, going forward, too. Yeah. So and good the, days ahead. The new channel is in the description, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And audio <laughs> listeners, by the way, audio listeners, this is not going to change anything. Audio <laughs> listeners are like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like looking up there. They're like, oh my God. <laughs> They're tripping yeah. on their walk. Yeah. Audio yeah. listeners, you guys, hey, y'all can chill, man. <laughs> yeah. It's do, a great way to put it. Y'all do you, man. If you're driving right now, you, you. You keep driving. I'm assuming this title was extreme clickbait and people are like, oh, they're just changing channels. So, yeah, you're welcome. Sorry for making you click in, but uh, we needed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> We're still here. We're just trying a new channel out. So thank you guys for sticking with us. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into some fresher stuff. Huh? Some, yeah. Well, one some thing I better want to say, I, oh. I, I will. Let me, let me just tease you guys with something. All right. We got some fun episodes coming up. Yeah. For the new channel. Oh, yeah. Big right? guest. Big guest, all right? Yeah. We got some some new friends. We got some old friends. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. We got some funny brothers. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's a hot team. We, we, got, we, got we got some funny brothers coming soon. There are two of them. Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <They're triplets>. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so it's going to be a good time. You guys all know we like to we like to laugh. We like to gag. I'm doing a nipple <laughs> reveal. You are on the new channel, yeah. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, what episode? Man, why did what I say a reason that? To go why did subscribe? I say that? No, I, <laughs> you're just, we're just doing anything. This and way. unfortunately, we just can't cut it. We can't cut things on this new channel, so that's so unfortunate. Nipple um, reveal will be happening. Body yeah. reveal, uh, nut reveal. Right. And by Whoa. the way, if this theory does full full nude episode, <laughs> if this theory doesn't work, I am going to that YouTube rep's house and I'm knocking on his door. And I'm going to say, hey, you motherfucker. You lied. You lied to us. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to leak his address. He gets like, yeah. it's commission based. He gets money what? based on new channels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he sold us, dude. <laughs> Guy's like, dirty. He's a dirty, dirty YouTube <laughs> rap, dude. He's <laughs> like, what is it, Herbal Life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the caveat. We are sharing with a multi level marketing scheme. Yeah. A lot of content will be overlapping. He did, so. when he, he had his own whiteboard actually it was a pyramid <laughs> dude he's like all the commenters are like oh you guys got suckered in <laughs> yeah we did get suckered in but yeah we're gonna try it out uh we're having a lot of fun podcasting dude podcasting is maybe the hardest thing i like under my or our our name we've never had like something knock on wood that like didn't do very well and like not the pod's not doing well but like I just want this pod to fucking it will, go with through time, the roof, dude. With time yeah. comes, you know. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes you just gotta you just gotta keep going. Right? Yeah, no. Yeah. I, yeah, we're working hard. Yeah. We're patient. Yeah. We're think doing about, everything we can. Think about uh Chet Hanks. He didn't blow up right away. Oh, nice. <laughs> Tom Hanks' son. Yeah, he just kept the Nepo baby. Is that the standard we're we're aiming for? Is Chet Hanks? I just wanted. To, uh, I didn't know. I didn't know reference. we talked about. We I was didn't talk to about think that before. Else. Like, yeah, what yeah. a reference, dude. <laughs> uh, maybe it was a bad reference. <laughs> it was a no, shot. But it's shot in the dark. The yeah. effort has been there, and we feel as though we've we've maybe earned more views than the algorithm is giving us, mm -hmm. and that's what's kind of prompted us right. to make this movie and the new I channel. I beg you guys. I don't yeah. know. Okay, um, I nicely ask. Nicely ask. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to show some love into the new channel once yeah. we start posting stuff. Yeah. Uh, so we could win. Yeah. yeah, please go subscribe to the new channel. That would mean a lot to us. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah. yeah. And to Kenny, because he'll get... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My, the, I, I should also say, I'm... Uh, the YouTube rep won't get heat. I'll get. It. I'm gone. It just doesn't work. So you're just gonna. Um, you're still gonna see the the camera where Kenny was at. It's just yeah. gonna be no Kenny. It'll just be the bamboo behind yeah. me or the wood slats. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh man. We can even talk about the fight that we had with Kenny. We had a fight. Me yeah. and Kenny. Me and Kenny and Wally. We all had a little tiff. Even just Wait, what? We were just grinding so hard trying to fucking get this. Chair. We have a fight. Yeah. It was a fight. Oh, we brawl, dude. We <laughs> fucking we hashed it out with our knuckles. We did. Yeah. Bare knuckle boxing. All I said was, "You guys are idiots." <laughs> 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 yeah. And I might have thrown yeah. a few slurs. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't Zoom call just fucking with like a bunny like avatar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah. we're just Man. all. Bumping heads here, trying to get this thing going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, sentimentality is kind of lame, but I, you know, and you guys give me shit because I say this on every, I'm the corner guy on three podcasts, but this is genuinely 
genuinely, genuinely a dream come true to work on the show with you guys. So, so I, this uh, is the, you're the best corner guy on our pod. You, you saying look, that you hate being the corner guy. I saw guy. a comment yeah, on Obsessed yeah. with Brooke. That uh, Kenny said, oh, this is like the most fun I've ever had. Yeah. Oh, really? Because yeah. I saw him insanely chill. Yeah. He's like, oh, thank you, Daddy Cody. Well, guys. This is the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> he, I saw one on our channel. I was like, yeah. guys, this is going so averagely well. <laughs> so funny. I actually yeah. saw a comment on Stretch of Fade saying, you guys need a quarter guy? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting all right, you said okay, that. I'm working my portfolio a little bit, all right? <laughs> uh, but no, thank you, Kenny. We appreciate it. Yeah, man. I, I saw him leave a comment on Howard Stern. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to replace Robin on Howard Stern. <laughs> Beetlejuice. <laughs> Damn, dude. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, again, I guess to put a fine point on it, please go subscribe to the new yep. channel. That would mean a lot to us. It would really help us out. We're trying to get this thing. The gear's turning on this on this show, mm -hmm. and uh, we got way more planned for you guys, and uh, we we appreciate each and every one of you. So, fuck yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it together, Zaz Nation. That's the longest cold open I've ever had in my life. Yeah. And, now, <laughs> and the yeah. episode can be Can good. we actually? Yeah. <laughs> that, dude, that's yeah. the longest fucking cold open. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, yeah. It's our so, show, yeah. Waleed. It's our channel. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever. Hey, guys, we're going to take a quick break to thank our sponsor, Nutrafol. Did you know that 80% of men will experience hair thinning in their lifetime? There's one right there. It's normal, but it doesn't have to be your fate. Get ahead of it with Nutrafol, a clinically tested hair growth supplement for men. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement brand with over 1 million people seeing thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding. Nutrafol's hair growth supplements are physician formulated using 100% drug-free ingredients. I'm sorry, by the oh, way. What? You're one of the 80%, but I'm also becoming one of the 80%. With Nutrafol, we'll, we'll be better. Anyways, their patented technology provides consistent, reliable results without compromising your sex life. In a clinical study, 84% of men showed improvement in their hair after six months taking Nutrafol's hair growth supplements. There's one right there. <laughs> Take their hair wellness quiz on Nutrafol.com slash men for a personalized hair health plan based on your specific root causes. With Nutrafol, building a hair growth routine is simple. Purchase online, no prescription or doctor's visits required. Free shipping and automated deliveries ensure you'll never miss a day. See results in three to six months. Take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com slash men and enter the promo code Zaz. Find out why over 4,500 healthcare professionals and hairstylists recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com slash men, spell N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash men and enter promo code Zaz. That's Nutrafol.com slash men, promo code Zaz. <laughs> um, another news, I'm a Canadian citizen now. Hey! Yeah, for one month. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, nice. One month, I have a temporary work visa for Canada when I went to go shoot Jay and Trey's show, Office Movers. And uh, they they gave me a work visa. You can no get way. That, that tumor checked out for free, dude. I get <laughs> free healthcare for a month. That's no so way. Sick. I have to like drive up to Vancouver or something. Drive up to <laughs> Vancouver or fly out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like across the U.S. Yeah, but, but it's closer yeah. than Canada and Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. I know. Are you gonna go back and get some procedures done? Nah, fuck it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. How's it feel? Do you, I notice your accent is gone. Yeah, yeah, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you just instantly fucking every time, dude. Every time you hang out, Jay and Trey, there you come here. You switch up so. No, much. I know. I <laughs> yes, you do, bro. No, I know. I'm just me. <laughs> yes, you do. You're just meat. That's who you are. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Uh, but it was funny. So I went through, I never went through, every time I fly into Canada, I just go straight to whatever, the customs, whatever. Oh, what are you here? I'm here for fun, whatever. Ah, and they, you know, stamp my shit, let me through, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. This is the first time I had to go through immigration to get a work visa. So you can't leave the airport without getting a work visa. So I landed at like midnight. Going to Im the airport, by the way, YYZ, beautiful. But the immigration office, YYZ. Oh, okay. But the immigration office is like straight up like ghetto DMV, like tr like trashy windows. Job. Yeah, everyone hates their jobs. And it's all these foreigners. They all have like interpreters on phones or whatever. And 
they're like fighting back with the people coming. Like it's intense, whatever, right? So then it's my time to go up and uh, you know I give them all my papers. I'm like, yeah, I'm here for like a work, uh, like a work temporary work permit thing. And she goes, a work? You mean a work visa? And I was like, yeah, I think I don't know. It was my first time, whatever. And she's like, all right, you're gonna sit down. We'll call you back up in like 15 minutes. I did. I tell you this? Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah. And then no, you didn't. This is all. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And then uh, they call me back in. They're like, actually, we're gonna put you in a room. And this other agent's gonna ask you some more questions or whatever. And so I wait like another like 20 minutes. It's a double. It's a double sided mirror room, whatever thing, right? In a small whatever. The guy comes in, and the girl who told me to sit down also comes in, and the guy goes, "Uh, so what are you here to do exactly?" And I'm. It's like late at night. I'm tired, you know. Like they're having a hard day. I'm trying to make laughs. I said, "Oh, I'm here to steal your guys' jobs." <laughs> and there was no laughter. Dude, at that all. was your opener. No, Dude, no he said this to me on the phone, and I instantly was just like, "You're a fucking idiot." Why, like, why would you say, say anything that? else? Dude. You could break. You could break. You could break the. <laughs> okay, fart and do whoops or like <laughs> the normal Wally thing. Like, fuck you, like. <laughs> that he did not find that shit. And then he asked. That's crazy to me, dude. He goes, wow, uh, Mr. Land, Muhammad, huh? if you don't mind me asking, have you been drinking on your flight? <laughs> Just due to the discretion of your answer. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, I like man. didn't drink, I didn't drink. He's like, so what do you do back in the states or whatever? I'm like, ah, oh, like I'm a on- I'm an online yeah. comedian. I make videos or whatever, right? <laughs> he goes, okay, can you show me these videos? No. So then I like pull up the drink one where I'm doing like that, like you know, oh, I'm serving yeah. the drink and I'm doing it all gross or whatever. Yeah. And I'm showing it to him. And yeah. He's just not laughing. No, like, he's I'm, icing you out. I'm bombing. I'm basically I'm showing uh. it to him and I'm bombing. And then I'm like, yeah, well, you know, here's, here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't show, like this one. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, the yeah. kebab commercial one, and he's like, he's just like, okay, um, leaves the room, comes back in. He's like, all right, you're going to go see this other agent. He just did not fuck with me at all. He's like, you should really think about starting a new yeah, channel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, oh, comedy subject. I, I was like, yeah, well, it's like subjective. You know, it's like, yeah, it's yeah, funny yeah, to yeah. my audience, I don't know. <laughs> and... Then he goes like, you're going to go see that guy at the window and you're going to pay some transaction to get your work visa or whatever, right? your temporary work visa. Yeah. And then the guy who's doing all the transactions is a little bit younger. He goes, yo, Waleed, you're here? Oh, shit. Like, dapping me up. Bitch, no yeah. way. And he was like, oh, shit. Oh, you're here for office movers? Like, he knew. And he was like, oh, man. Like, oh, this is so tight, whatever. Like, can we get a photo? And then I, I turn around and I see the agent glaring at that dude. And then I know for a fact that dude probably went back. He's like, yo, you guys see Waleed was here? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, his kebab bit wasn't yeah. that good. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like they all get laid off the next day. And like, you're like, oh, I'm here to take your job. You drop that joke. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one laying them off. <laughs> it's just funny oh, that man. they probably sent you, to, they try to send you like to a dumber down, like, TSA person that like oh why don't you, we're not really getting your vibe why don't you go to this uh, no well the, the guy's the guy who like <laughs> makes the transactions or whatever he has like one job yeah Damn. so I got in thank God but it was funny I sometimes I kind of understand why those guys get frustrated. Because yeah. people like you who make jokes <laughs> saying that you're going to take their job. Whoa, I can't see Damn, that at dude. all. Yeah, I was they hoping, need to lighten up, man. <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. Like, don't you want me in your country <laughs> to outsource your jobs? <laughs> it's 11 o'clock at night. They've had the worst it's day. It's midnight. In. It's not even yeah. 11. Wally comes in just fucking, <laughs> I'm here to take your job. <laughs> <laughs> and then I over when I was waiting the first time, I overheard heard someone um he was like some punjabi guy i think he came straight from india and he was on the phone with the interpreter and then the 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 immigration agent whatever right all i heard was uh the guy say something to the interpreter and then the the <laughs> immigration agent goes so i just reached out to your cousin and he said he's never ever he's never heard of you before and he wasn't expecting anyone to come into canada so can you explain that <laughs> And then he's just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no way. So I, 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 it's annoying. I know this was, I'm probably just as bad. So you had, like, why couldn't you just get into Canada and just say you're visiting a friend? Because like, I'm working, I got paid through the show. Oh, okay. If you're making money there, you have to. How much did you get? <laughs> Shit. Dude, they booked me first class. Wow. Really? Yeah, it was sick as fuck. 
Nice. Wow. I went to the lounge. You got to eat all the food. What if that? all the other people who were on the show that watched this? I asked. I asked around. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you get first class? <laughs> <laughs> you fuck with me that hard? <laughs> <laughs> you guys make the joke about stealing jobs? <laughs> 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 nice. Okay. So what are you gonna? Are you not gonna go to Canada anymore? That's it. You just have a one month and then. Yeah, well, I'll go back when the show comes out, but oh, nice. I won't get like after my visa's expired, and I can only work on that show technically. Got it. Uh, so I was like, "Oh, can I do anything else for you guys? <laughs> 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 you guys need like a PA or something?" <laughs> how was your acting? Like, how, yeah, you, what was your role? Okay, so I played a hot dog vendor in the show. Whoa! Yeah, nice. yeah. You yep, already yep. said that in the last episode. Thanks. Yeah, and it was with Lucas uh, Lopez, who's really funny. He's huge on TikTok. Um, and the idea was like Lucas was supposed to just be like a straight up mess uh, ordering because he had like the business card, but my hot dog vendor was cash only. Mm-hmm. And so he's like, or he's like being all cocky. He's like, yeah, running up, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to throw a fat tip in for you, whatever. And then when I tell him it's cash only, Smart he's move, like, by the way. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like freaking out, whatever. And basically the, the scene was like, we're both kind of fighting, whatever. Like mm-hmm. it's pretty hardcore. So then we we're running the lines beforehand and I was like, hey, Lucas, do you think like it's just maybe doing too much, whatever? And so he's like, yeah, maybe we should go talk to the director. It was it's scary to go talk to the director and be like, hey, we're, we were thinking like, you know. You're a problem on set. Yeah, already. I was already that guy. Or whatever. You reworked the whole, you maybe reworked the whole episode. <laughs> no, no. <it's> one, <laughs> maybe Lucas was, like was supposed a, to die. A 40 second scene. <laughs> you never know. That was the climax point. <laughs> but we're like, okay, we're like. I've never talked to the director before. He was really funny. He was cool. But I was like, yeah, we're actually thinking like about doing making this into a kissing scene. Like, what do you think about that? <laughs> Between me and the hot dog. You were like the worst. Like, <laughs> wait, what? You <laughs> went from this is too intense to we should pitch a kissing scene? To break like, the ice and then tell him what we actually Okay, think. so you try to oh, break the okay, ice with okay. a TSA agent saying, I'm going to take your job. And then <laughs> you go to the yeah. director and say, what if we like fuck? <laughs> you laugh? <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um... But the show's really good. I was like, I watched a few other scenes. I even threw a line in there. Oh. What do you mean? Can you say what the line is that you improvised? I think you had a line. Like, no, you, had, you had multiple. When they were filming another scene, oh. I told Trey, I was like, oh, you should tell him to say this. Oh. oh. And Dude, the directors were like, get this guy the <laughs> fuck out yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, no, it worked. Revoke it the worked. one month visa, man. <laughs> it worked. I was he gets like, one so, week. I was so nervous because Trey was like, yeah, that's a good idea. And walked over, told the actor that, right? And then I was like, "Oh fuck!" He's actually like he told him. So how good is the show going to be if your if your input is carrying so much weight that they change? It was one line. It was one line. (laughs) (laughs) They change it like that. It was one thing. The line is, "I would like to kiss the hot dog vendor (laughs) (laughs) in season two. (laughs) Bring him back." It's funny if your work visa was only for like a day, but we're like, "This guy gets it, dude. Can we extend this guy for a month?" (laughs) How about hot dog vendor to writer? Whoa. Hot dog vendor number three to writer. <laughs> I'm like basically an extra picture. Like <laughs> Dude, if you get a credit, like a writer's credit, like at the end. <laughs> James like, yo, we'll talk. <laughs> nice, dude. Um, yeah. But it was sick. It was like a legit production too. It yeah. was like I trust, like I trust Trey and Jay to like. And is Lucas even in it? Or, I mean, like, yeah, he's like the, one of the main characters. I, I mean, as yeah. like a writer production guy or is he just like the main character i think he's like a main actor yeah okay well yeah. train jay either way i trust them so much like whatever they do always crushes so Dude, they had a guy who just his one job was just to drive around people around from like baller set to set it was like oh, huge it was cool. like legit production did you have someone wow. pick you up from the airport no trey picked me up okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the 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 star of the show oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wally don't pitch any lines when you get yeah. there right? yeah, yeah yeah i got it i got it oh the worst part was uh uh, no one knew I had an actual kebab cart. I mean, I, fair enough. They didn't know whatever, right? Yeah. And then, so when I went to the hot dog cart, I was like setting it up and they're like, yo, 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 uh, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. And then the guy did the same exact thing. And I was like, no, look, I own a, the same thing. Like, I know how to set up the grill. Did I know you how to show them your your cart badge. Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, trust I me, guys. I should have brought it with me. <laughs> you should have sh- uh, yeah. showed the the same clip you did to TSA. See if they laughed at it. <laughs> well, it's funny because after me and the cart guy were like talking shop, I was like, "Oh, dude, you got two propane tanks. Like, that's a sick setup for like for like an hour." <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you actually served hot dogs, didn't you? Or didn't people? I saw a picture of people eating hot dogs. Yeah, well, they had the thing set up, so the the person who brought the hot dog cart actually cooked it. Got it. Yeah. Not you. Yeah, no. Mm. Your I, don't, I don't have my food safety card. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't get him sick. 
<laughs> you can't. You're gonna fucking get him sick on a hot dog. That's like the <laughs> worst. Like it's the easiest thing to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, good time. Can't wait for the show. It's gonna be great. I know they're trying to figure out how to get the show in the U.S. You know, it just felt really good to be in a proper production. Nice with good crew. Why are you? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm that felt pointed. That? I'm kidding. I was trying to be a dick. I was trying to be a dick. What? And it worked. Yeah. <laughs> TSA, director, now a podcaster. You're really just fucking up some vibes here, Willie. Jesus Christ. It was sick. They had a crafty truck that just had everything. Everything. You, you want mac and cheese? You say, I want fucking mac and cheese, whatever, right? Yeah. They'll make yeah. it for you. Wow. But you're a health guy now and you didn't do that. No, no. But I was like, they had really good espresso and like every. 20 minutes i just kept getting espresso i wouldn't even drink all of it i'll just take sips and then throw it out uh, dude <laughs> just because i was like this is sick you're kind of like an asshole a-lister now yeah, yeah i mean i like oh, this dude i fucking hate this i, like I, think, this I think we have a new waleed man i hate this new era of waleed <laughs> i get like an award in canada for uh, his role in hot dog vendor you get a key to the city <laughs> <laughs> best line change of all time <laughs> who is he i'm gonna cover up like variety <laughs> the hot dog outfit. <laughs> what else did you do in uh, Toronto? Did you do anything else? No, I just basically just chilled on set yeah. the whole time. Hung out with just meet for a day. Cool. Went man. to the gym. Yeah, nice. good time. Fuck yeah, man! Mm-hmm. It sounds like the best time. And I made it back into my own country. So. Yeah. And you you helped Noel out by getting his. Oh place. God! <laughs> oh geez! Thank you for bringing that up. Of course. Dude. I actually Wait, did want to talk about it. This son of a bitch. <laughs> Noel? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Noel a- Miller of TMG Studios. Yeah, careful, I've heard careful, of him. Yeah. Okay, you've done TSA. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I get to, You threw I a jab at me <laughs> for some reason? <laughs> Kenny <laughs> for random <laughs> right hook. Get a Grace. <laughs> <laughs> You're next. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you leave Grace alone. <laughs> That's where I draw the line. You do not make fun of our <laughs> awesome intern, Grace. No one's safe here. Uh, so I guess Noel shot like literally two days before me. We just missed each other. I'm like about to board the flight. He's calling me. Yo, yo, you going to Toronto, right? Um, basically left his suitcase in the production uh, studio or whatever. And yeah. he was like, yo, can you please bring it back? He was being very sincere, genuinely. Yeah, yeah, he was being yeah, very, he was yeah. like, I'm so sorry. Like, I hate to throw this on you, but like, can you do the, he was actually the most sincere I've ever heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely, he was being very sweet about it. I thought this was going to be a roast. No, nah, yeah. he was actually being very nice about it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude, I got you. No problem. And then, so now I have to lug his suitcase around oh. all over the airport and his first class. So it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then, it wasn't uh, an issue at all. And then I had to put it in my Uber back home. And then now the suitcase is just sitting in my house. Oh, for a couple of days. Have you uh, have you taken a peek inside? No, 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 no. You no. get a little well, there, was a, there was a part of me where I was like, should I pee on it? I was like, yeah. I was freaked out by how ni- <laughs> nice he was being. I was like, this fucker's trying to set me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 38 pounds of in coke here. in there. <laughs> <laughs> so there's coke. <laughs> He's trying to set me the fuck up. Was he also on Office Movers? Yeah, he was also on the show. Oh, cool. As a security guard, I believe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our roles don't path, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Did you pitch any lines for his character? No, no I wasn't okay. there. I wasn't there yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you go in and edit his part. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just slices the mind. You dub it with a voiceover. Of <laughs> I love the hot dog, but <laughs> I should check him out outside. Yeah, like gun boys. Like, I thought the hot dog that dark. So good. But the guy's like, whoa, this is so good. Is this is ADR. <laughs> Not even his voice. This fits so perfectly <laughs> in the scene. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, she's, I brought a suitcase back. Nice. Has And you haven't delivered it back to him yet, though. No, no, no. Uh, his assistant picked it up. Oh, Kate. Yes. We Kate. love Kate. Yep. Hell yep, yeah. Yep. Nice. Nice, dude. Did you get any uh, like ransom money for the, the or any sort of reward for keeping this safe? Oh, I should have. Yeah, you should have blackmailed should have, him, dude. I should have just sent him an Apple request. You should. Yeah. Did ten, you have to, you have to check it? <laughs> you did that to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Someone could be drunk enough. Someone could be, oh, yep. <laughs> uh, you didn't, uh, Cody asked you, too, to get a bag, didn't he? He asked you to fly all the way across to Calgary and uh, pick up a suitcase. You did that, too, didn't you? <laughs> I did? Yeah. Oh. It's the same thing as like the Apple request where it's like, just go ahead and fly all the way out to Calgary, please. Yeah, and he did make me tape money all over under my shirt <laughs> and uh, go through TSA. 
Damn. It's hella funny that the open era, the AI thing, the writer strike that you like. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna propose <laughs> there. It's all funny that we'll leave like on our last episode. He has commentary on like some of our episodes and stuff. Like, oh, this is funny. This is funny. He's like, dude, the AI part. Whoa, that was hilarious. I, I was like, I, I know. And I was like, that was your own part that you fucking did. He's like, guys, <laughs> I I'm it. so funny. Look at this AI stuff that I said. I was like, yeah, we got to be a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If y'all are going to cut this, I'm going to cut it. <laughs> Someone get me an espresso. <laughs> I thought it was so funny, like, we have, like, 80 episodes out, and you're just like, yeah, good episode, good episode, good episode. And then, like, this episode, you're like, guys, you see this AI part? This is so funny. Can we cut the, can we put, put the clip in here? Replay. Yeah. We're just laughing about you. Replay the part right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, damn. Well, yeah, uh, so uh, what are your aspirations now as an actor, as an A-lister? Oh, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> You're never? <laughs> okay. No, that was fun. You're focusing on kebab stuff. I'm focusing on kebab stuff, doing, doing, trying to do some more pop-ups. Are you allowed to tease your thing or no? Which thing? Which one, bro? You're close. You're like exhausted. You're like, what? what are you? What's this? Yes, it's kebab. What else do you want? No, but you, you posted some close friends pics. Uh, I better take you off that list. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be, yeah. There's a reason why I post those photos. Okay. No, I told them already, remember? Yeah, but you don't want to show them? Yeah, not yet. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's okay. just the, uh, it's the Minions costume. Oh. Okay, yeah, we can cool. keep it in. I'm making the okay. Minions, the Arab Minions costume. I'm also yeah. making the popsicle to go with it. I'm going to design that too soon. The picture on close friends was so good. <sighs> You just maybe I should yeah, nah. your dick man. I think I got nah. taken off of close friends. That's rough. <laughs> oh, you're not on it. <laughs> Oof. Grace, on it. <laughs> Grace, you're on that. Damn, man. Everyone's That's a like gut punch, dude. On. That's funny. <laughs> Jack, I'm not on your close friends either. I honestly don't post any close friends. Yeah, yeah actually, I, I don't either. I, I have a funny yeah. close friends. I just have tots, and like I oh, just okay. that's funny. It's pretty risky because some pictures of your balls. Yeah, I post like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I post like ugly pics of us and like some you know like ones of just shirts off and like shit like that. And I, she like freaks out because I'll see her just like I don't tell her that I posted it, and I see her just like scrolling through and Whoa. she sees yeah. herself and she's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always check every time I post that. It's just tots <laughs> underneath. Close <laughs> yeah. damn um you guys want to talk about this insane bruno mars story oh, oh yeah. my hero i love bruno mars yeah don't get it twisted are you a big fan so first of all at my wedding tots had no bruno mars songs on the list because on, li- on the dj list? she's she there is a do not do not play songs and there's like hella white songs. And she was just like, why? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Like <laughs> yeah. Dude, why? Oh, no. Dude, or white not. weddings? I hate White no. weddings? Like they fucking, sorry, Kenny, if your whole playlist is no, like no, dude. No, 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 this no, is, no, no, I totally agree. It's like somehow every white wedding seems to fit in uh, <laughs> at the car wash. Yeah. 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 Whoa, whoa. Me and Kenny like, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Play that funky music. music. You're, You're like, get me the fuck out of here, man. my head. <laughs> your own wedding you're like guys i gotta get out why, <laughs> yeah, why, so. it, like, why is it like like because the your your extended family that grew up on those songs like yeah. it gets them going well, and the then, like, about them? it's your wedding yeah but like fiend, fiend. <laughs> <laughs> dude that would actually be so sick yeah. <laughs> but but that's the thing if you were to play fiend and my 86 year old grandparents are in the room they're gonna like have hard yeah they're gonna have an aneurysm yeah. that's gonna freak them out there so like the wedding uh, playlist ideology is you get the elderly uh, extended family up first on the dance floor and you play like all their songs that they grew up on and then like they tuck her out within like a few songs and then they go sit back down and then the fucking real dance floor party starts and you play like mm-hmm. Fiend so yeah yeah. I don't yeah. know I've been to enough white weddings what was your <laughs> music for yours? dude it was like uh, yours was a lot of like Hispanic yeah. yeah that was yeah. good that oh, was nice. good that Tots was good. played like a uh, ton of her playlists it was if it's ethnic it's always gonna be good like Punjabi weddings fucking sick it's the best playlist ever. Yeah. yeah her playlist is called Thadiana it's really hot <laughs> love that so when, when she put all these do not play songs Bruno Mars was on there oh yeah sorry Bruno yeah, Mars yeah. was one of them because but that's like one that could be allowed yeah, yeah I yeah. feel like yeah it's funny because like I have that song that we did that video, yeah. the YouTube video too. That like I know by heart. I could fucking same, same. Get That's all my shit out. Yeah, I think one of those played at our wedding, but I'm not. I don't really remember too well. But anyways, Bruno Mars is getting some shit uh, from yeah. Vegas, baby. <laughs> have you seen this? So yeah, he has a gambling addiction. Yeah, uh, it's rumored that he's in debt 
fifty million dollars to MGM Resorts. Insane. Uh, in Las Vegas. But MGM just came out and said that he's not in debt anymore. But I think it was yeah. just a, like he's such an iconic character or musician. Yeah. Character. But uh that they're trying <laughs> to like save face and yeah. like save him because it's a terrible look, dude. Yeah. It's well, kind of what it seems like. Yeah, he, has so. a, he had a residency in Vegas, right? Yeah. Sonic. Yeah. 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 But now he's like de- devoted just I mean, to MGM. I, I can see yeah. how he could like. They have do, his soul. What do you do after a show? I guess I'm going to the slots. <laughs> But yeah, his shows are fucking sick. Yeah, like, I know. Yeah, but he just but he like gets bored. I'm sure he gets bored in Vegas, you know. So he just goes to slots. Yeah, I guess we go crappy slots. Nice. Yeah, the source that God, rep- I love crafts. Don't say that. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, Jesus is so Christ. sick, bro. Maybe yeah. we should switch the story. Uh, no, no, I <laughs> dude. I I will say, have you ever played craps? Uh, I actually no, I haven't no, dude. It's no. so fucking sick. Basically, you get like a <laughs> oh god, I'm not promoting gambling. <laughs> so you, see, you are like hard as a rock. You have, right now. You like, have dice. Like, re- he's <laughs> revved up. <laughs> you, you whatever number is on, it has to, the dice has to hit that number, and everybody wins or whatever, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My favorite yeah. is there was a time. This has only happened once in my life. I was feeling so cocky. I was showing someone how to play craps. It was a good table, good vibes, whatever. I was like, "Hey, who wants the seven? And I was like, "Yeah, woo!" I threw it. I actually hit the seven. And I was like, "Yo, he's him. He's him." And then I did it again. And then I did it again. And then I lost it all. Oh, <laughs> dude. No. But it felt good in the moment. That is gam- That is the definition of gambling. Huh? Right there, dude. Mm. It felt good. I got it. I won. I won again. <laughs> and then I lost it all. Awesome, but it felt good. <laughs> <laughs> I would do anything to get it back. Uh, but we had some uh we had some Bruno Mars remixes. Right, because I saw he he uh his new songs. His new songs out. were coming out. Yeah, and they're pretty yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of like Taylor's version. He's uh, revamped some of his current uh, discography yeah, to match his current situation. Then no one's heard yeah. of these songs. So no, no. Here Unreleased. on the Zach Waleed Show, yeah. you get exclusivity. That's right. Of what exactly is Bruno Mars' new album coming out with? Uh, Waleed, do you want to start? Yes. Um, my first uh, song that I had was, where is it? Um, Versace on the Floor. Because I had to sell my furniture. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what is the original song? Versace on the floor. Versace on the floor. Mm-hmm. Very nice. That's I had a to good sell one. my furniture. Got it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Kenny, did you want to take one? Yeah. You guys know the classic uh, Locked Out of Heaven? Mm hmm. Of course. Yeah. Well, he's actually had to rework that a bit, and now it's titled Locked Out of My Bank Account. Wow. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's bad. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Chase uh, has was a hard like a limit. Massive yeah. stand up joke. <laughs> yeah. Kenny's just the opener line. Yeah. <laughs> that was really good. That was good. That was good. I have uh, Leave the Door Open. I'm going to leave the door open. That one? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, I'm going to leave the back door cover. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can you? I'm sorry. Can you explain, can you explain that? that for us? <laughs> sure. I have you it all get, written down. Is he getting fucked? The back door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the back door cover uh, scores meaningless points in the end of the game to cover the spread. <laughs> oh, oh that's fucking good. That's some deep cut gambling shit. Back door cover that. People in the comments got my back, dude. People in the comments laughed at that one. Yeah, I, f- I don't really, I don't know anything about gambling, so that's where I fucked up on that one. That's a good. Okay, joke. I got I a like good one. I, I, I had yeah, a few yeah. uh, extra I, lyrics I, with that song. Oh yeah, go oh ahead. yeah, let's hear him, dude. Well, everyone loved it, so I just thought I'd continue on with yeah. it. Yeah, if that's cool. <laughs> I'm actually afraid to even just sing this right no, now. No, let's hear it, dude. Come on. Zach, come on. Come on, come on, come on dude. Guys, guys. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys. Don't record. Don't record. <laughs> oh, okay. wow. I feel so much better. We just yeah. cut everything, dude. Yeah, Everything's cut. Everything cut. I'm going to need the back door cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, that was good. Yeah, that was good. That was you good. actually hit those notes, yeah, man. Yeah, the false setup. I'm going to need the back door cover. Uh, <laughs> that you deal the way I deal, and we cover the spread tonight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not singing anymore. Like <laughs> no one liked it. No, no that's like, good, no, dude. No, I like no, it. No. We all liked Grace it. Grace didn't say anything. So Grace, Grace, like Grace what do you think about that? <laughs> She's quiet. Okay, Grace loved it. Grace loved it. Uh, do you have another one, Waleed? Yeah. That's all I had. <laughs> Next one. Uh, funny because I heard that same song, but uh, different rendition. You guys are supposed to sing with me. <clears throat> Leave the door open for the Lone Sharks. Oh, oh okay. Oh, wow. That was yeah, so yeah, yeah. good. Girls yeah. clapping. <laughs> yeah. Standing O from Grace over here. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yep, yeah. Yep. I actually heard some of the lyrics, too. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. Where it's like, what did it sound like? Uh, what you doing? 
Where you at? Where you at? You're taking all that. You're taking all that. Uh, I'm trying to win it back. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So, okay, so he... Never mind. Go Dude, ahead, I liked yours. No, no, no. Go ahead, Kenny. Go ahead. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, well, you let's guys, see what Kenny comes up with. Yeah, it's you, probably going to be good. Yeah. You, you, guys, <laughs> you guys know the song Wake Up in the Sky? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, there's actually... He's actually condensed that title down a bit. The, the, the actual record uh, title of that song is uh, Wake Up in the Sky... Parentheses because I've been pushed out of MGM CEO William Hornbuckle's private plane. So you're supposed to sing it. I don't know the words. <laughs> <to the song. laughs> We're all risking our fucking jobs here. I have uh, calling all my lovelies. Yeah. Calling yeah. all my lovelies. Uh huh. It sounds like you're singing all the same song. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Bruno Mars is. Yeah. It's calling all my bookies. Oh, nice. Let's hear it. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll just, I'll, I'll just say it. Okay, okay. I got too many bookies on hold for you to be so bold. Too many on my team for you to act so mean. You say you want to go on a run. Well, you ain't the only one. If I <laughs> ring, don't let it ring too long, or I'm gone. <laughs> You should have seen it. We're cutting all this. No, that's pretty good. No, no, we're not, not cutting any of this. No, this is all stupid. No, we try and come up with a little segment. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I, I have sting. one. I have one. Hey, this is. <laughs> come back. Get the whiteboard. Get the whiteboard. <laughs> we try and. I'm. I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, Dude, this is going well. Is I don't know what you're doing. Oh, it's just we want to sing on the new channel. We want to be uh, artists. Wait, I have one. I have one. We want to be Cody Let Call with one. Let fucking, me one. We want to have a Vegas table. <laughs> Let me finish mine, all right? Zach, but, this segment's going well, man. <laughs> we Calm down. You're doing this to yourself. Calling on my book. You're yeah, having an employee. Yeah, <laughs> all right. All right. So, my, you know that song, Uptown Funk? Yeah, of course. Of course. Classic. With, with How all, does it go? With yeah. all his uh, bad luck, more like down lunk funk. <laughs> Wait, that? down luck funk? Down luck, yeah. Down, oh, that's good. Yeah, down luck <laughs> okay. funk. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be the most train right. wreck No, no, yeah. no, I'm finishing it, and I'm going to finish it strong. Let's hear it. All right. This hit, that ice cold Michelle Pfeiffer, that white gold. This <laughs> one from them bad bets, them good nights, straight regrets. Nice. Whoa. Wow. Clip that's pretty that. good. Well, that's he's a... going to comment on the episode. Did you guys see that? That's fucking it. It. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Zach. This will make you feel better, man. I got one more, and this is a singer, okay? I want you guys to sing with me, right. okay? It's just two lines, and then I'll jump in. You guys know the song Grenade? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. This is the chorus. <clears throat> I'd catch a grenade for ya. Yeah. Throw my yeah. hand on a blade for ya. I put 50K on the Knicks for ya. Wow. Well, that's yeah. his mistake. Well, then it's the he Knicks. lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably yeah. why he's down fifty <laughs> mil. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love. Go back to the article. The title of the article was like, um, "Dude, Bruno Mars is gonna gamble even more after hearing all. If, if any of this shit fucking goes off on like socials, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, he's gonna be like, what oh, the wait. fuck is this? Uh, the article says, "Phew, Bruno Mars won't have to scrub dishes in vain." You think this wow. motherfucker is gonna scrub dishes? <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't even know that was the headline. That is a brutal headline. Yeah, that's. Damn, Jennifer Zahn went in on him. Dude, wow. Jesus. Scrub dish. They don't, do they even do that anymore? Yeah. Like if you can't pay As a bill, waiter? Yeah. As a do, waiter for the kebab cart? That? I scrub dishes for you, Wally, <laughs> in the kebab cart. Well, no, if you go to Chili's and you're like, oh, I can't pay. Oh. oh okay. I don't know. Up? Do they do that? That's such like a fucking raunchy move to yeah, do. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, you can't leave the restaurant until all these dishes these are, are clean. They're all done. It's not <laughs> <laughs> You and your little girlfriend. No, <laughs> <laughs> she's got a scrub too. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a this is a pretty crazy line right here. The source that leaked leaked the story said that quote MGM basically own oh owns him. So that's uh, yeah, that's the that's the line that's like aggressive, devilish. Dude. Yeah, dude, that's fucking scary. Yeah, I I'm so glad I don't that. know how to do any gambling. Zero gambling. Yeah. I, I promise, I don't, like, if I watch, I know the uh, baseball season's coming up, and I know, like, oh, the Giants will beat the Dodgers. Yeah. And I, I am confident in it. I don't even know how to go online and bet. I'll even, show you. Even though it's illegal, it's illegal <laughs> Dude, in California. it's so easy nowadays. It's illegal in California. Oh, with the VPN and... <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. Well, speaking of baseball and gambling, uh, Zach, do you want to tee up the Shohei Otani? I would absolutely love story? to. Yeah. Oh, God, this got me off. 
Got you off? I fucking hate the Dodgers. <laughs> okay. We know, Zach. We this know. is a s- small sports topic here, but yeah, just yeah, yeah. bear with us, audience crew, because it ties in. So it just goes boop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. It's, it's, it's good. All right. <laughs> Otani signed with the Dodgers for yeah, it was <laughs> sick as fuck, huge. Ten years, seven hundred million dollars. Okay, huge. He gets two million dollars for ten years, and then X amount, whatever the rest of that is, for the rest of his life, basically. So he's gonna be chilling uh, in Japan with loads of cash mm-hmm. coming up. He has an interpreter that he's been friends with since high school. Yep, homies for life. Me and you. Yeah, that interpreter was gambling his money. Uh, four point five million dollars. Uh, that Otani apparently did not know was happening. Mm-hmm. But there was a rumor or an article written first when the uh, news first came out that Otani paid the interpreter I- Ipe four point five million dollars. And then the uh, second story came out like a couple hours later saying, wait, just kidding. Otani didn't pay him any money. He had no idea the gambling was happening. All that shit. Uh. Oh, Ipe stole the money out of Otani's account, saying that uh, Ipe, the interpreter, had all the access, bank information yeah. access to get the money to gamble on his own account, own record. And yeah. uh, the trans interpreter is now fired uh, as of today. If there's any more news coming out, we were filming on a Friday, so just bear with us. This is all we have right now. But yeah. it's fucking insane. Yeah. The interpreter is fired? And yeah, yeah, and that was his boy, his dog. And this was the yeah. first game of the 162 game season. And the first game, this news breaks out, and he already signed a 10 year, $700 million contract. And if he gets in trouble that he was gambling, then his contract is probably fucked. Yeah. And he still has to get paid $700 million no matter what. Oh, so he hit a lick. Yeah. But that's insane, dude. Yeah. Holy fuck. And I read speculation last night yeah. that uh this is actually Otani is the one that's the has like a crippling gambling addiction or Dude. has spent this much money gambling. And if that's the case, that's like that could be really bad for baseball as a whole because they would have to come down on him really hard and he would probably be like suspended for the rest of his career. But he still gets the money, right? Uh I think he gets his contract yeah. no matter what. Yeah. But the thing is, uh I guess this was during his time with the Angels in Orange County, and there was an FBI raid in a, at a home in San Juan Capistrano where this illegal bookie was operating. And his show his name is in the ledger of this. I didn't know that. Yeah, I read this last night. This is all speculation, of course. Like, we no, don't it's know. not. It's real. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so even <laughs> oh, even you mean our boy in San Juan Cap? <laughs> yeah, yeah, our boy. Oh, no, yeah. You, went down? Oh. <laughs> you take you just say San Juan Cap, and it just makes you sound so much more. Oh, limited. Man, I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that could be really bad for him because even if his translator was the one betting, Shohei's the one that was wire transferring and had his number on these le- or his name on in these ledgers. So that could be really bad for him. And uh, I don't know that he's like baseball superstar, and baseball's already struggling so badly as it is. Don't care. Yep. If Get we, the fuck if we out lose of here. him, you dirty. Dirty gambling addict, <laughs> man. Oh. I mean, I don't like the Dodgers either, but this is like bad for <laughs> no, baseball. I, because, I, like, I like watching yeah. Shohei. It's great for the game. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. All but that fuck the Dodgers. Shit. But yeah. it's like MLB's fucking baby. Like they're unicorn. Yeah. And this dude, first game of the season on his new team is deemed. <laughs> <laughs> I want this in a way. It's fucked up. The whole story is fucked up. But the way that Zach's talking so passionately about how much he hates the Dodgers, I want <laughs> yeah. this to flip back in a way where it's like <laughs> somehow the Giants yeah, fall. Somehow the Giants <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they're the ones like they hacked his account and putting bets for o- Otani, <laughs> yeah. and then the Giants just get caught. Somehow and Blake do- Snell isn't on the Giants <laughs> yeah. anymore or yeah, some yeah, shit yeah. like that. And then somehow it's involved with the Warriors and all their <laughs> no. all their championship <laughs> rings get taken away. Unless the the Niners get their ring and it's somehow. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes if we it all happens just so the Niners could get it. That'd be great. Yeah. Well, another crazy thing that you brought up yesterday, Zach, before the show was that um, the day before they fired Shohei's interpreter translator Ipe, uh, there's a clip of them in the dugout together, yes. like being buddy buddy, laughing and shit, um, like right here, dude. Okay, yeah. Can I tee this up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Go ahead. Uh, this clip. Yeah, he knew about it. Apparently, he knew about the gambling was happening, and the interpreter was fired after this game. So Otani knew that he was going to be fired, and there's still like this clip 
they're still they have nine innings to play blah 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 like what two hours of yeah. just budding budding on camera just pretending like hey everything's gonna be fine and after the game he got fired put, put it without audio i want to hear it sure i want to watch it so uh <laughs> any parlays hey lady <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, but he got a hit. Oh, fun. Uh, That's fun. Woo. His first and last hit is a Dodger. Yeah. So he's not even kicked off the team, you think, right? If it's just his interpreter got caught. So there's. Yeah, the, the Dodgers fan base that is back that's hating on everyone saying that it's Otani's the one that's gambling, and then there's the other side of the baseball world that's saying like, oh, Otani's the gambler. It's all on him. And now it's just like pinpointing in on the Twitter world of just like it's not all Otani it's a uh, it's it, it pays fall and then like the other side is saying no it's Otani and blah 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 so it's just funny just, just like no one knows really any the real yeah. story yeah because the first story that came out was Otani was paying his homie just to cover his debt gambling but then that's bad because it's illegal in California and then yeah Something's not adding up here. Yeah. Some someone did something. Gonna come out it's a juicy. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna come yeah. out. It's such a good yeah. story, bro. Oh, somehow man. the Giants are involved. No, they're yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, this all theory. points back to yeah. SF. Yeah, uh, I'm just. Yeah. I'm so fucking. Glad. I have zero itch to gamble ever. I'm so happy that I don't do that. Thank Zach, what if, I, what if I were to tell you <laughs> this five dollars? We can make it ten, dude. There's clips. Uh, here, wait, maybe I can send it to you. Right yeah, now. sure, sure. We got to take Zach to Vegas. No, I'm not, I mean, dude, I'm I'm kind of like Zach. I'm Do you so, hear me when I say I don't have any <laughs> inclination to gamble? I don't. Yeah, I just like I don't know how to do it, and I like don't. I already am like, oh, I gotta watch every dollar I make. Yeah, and so I feel like I'm gonna blow it my first day gambling. You will. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but the rush. Damn. Yeah, yeah. How, uh, what's the most you've ever won? Uh, like a couple grand. Damn, dude. Nice. In, in one hand, or like mm. just over a over a night. Over a night. Wow. Damn, I I could but see like, that being was, a rush. It was fuck. It was fucked up because I was down, and I was like, yeah. "Well, I got bent myself out of a hole." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen too many episodes of The Sopranos to like. Yeah, to know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. know that feeling. God yeah. Damn it! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Dude, this clip. I swear it's fucking good. Oh, oh, I, I'll say this while you're looking for that. Um, there's a precedent set here. There's this like all time awesome baseball player. He should have been the Hall of Fame. His name's Pete Rose. And he's like mm -hmm. one of the like all time. He might be the hits leader. Zach, do you know? He's like one of the best historically yeah. best hitters of all time. He was barred from the Hall of Fame because he was caught gambling on baseball. And this was like back in what the six seventies, eighties. It was like decades ago. But he was caught betting on baseball, and they he can't be in the Hall of Fame because of it. So what the fuck? They can't, can't just like look it. the other way for Shohei Otani because it would be like well, what about that guy? Rules. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. That yeah, right. so long ago. Yeah, I know. I mean. It's okay. It's okay. a video of like it was when Otani and Ipe were on the Angels, and there was a, a video of them like tossing balls to try and get it to stick on the dugout cement like step. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, the ball was like either rolling off or if it stuck on the step, mm. then they all celebrated. And Otani and Ipe was the only two that were doing it. And the camera was just watching them, and Otani was tossing it, and he got it. And his reaction was the reaction of someone who had like five thousand dollars on the line. He was just like yes, like that. And they were sitting on the bench. The game was happening. Like, like there was like an actual fucking well, they're boys. Game. They get, let the boys gamble, <laughs> yeah. man. Dude, Fuck. it was just yeah. so fucking obvious that like something was on the line of that Damn. thing. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Ah, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we have anything else today? I wanted to talk oh. about my uh, sobriety. Yeah, dude. Let's hear. Yeah, you made it sound fitness. like you're out of control. I know, but yeah. dude, it feels so fucking good. Yeah, absolutely. Just to like, uh, so I had last weekend. I said that uh, my friends were coming into town, and it was a test for me to not drink. Uh huh. Didn't drink. Okay, so what did you drink when they're like, ah, woo, yeah, Diet Coke. Smart. Yeah, dude. So we went just to milk something. <laughs> weird. Whoa. <laughs> just uh, milk. We went to Elefante. They ordered a pitcher, and the pitcher is just like easy access for alcohol sitting right next to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Looking good. Oh, dude. The bubbles going It was up. a spicy Mark pitcher. Like my fucking kryptonite. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I don't have a problem. Don't have a problem. Like yeah. gambling or anything like that. Yeah. No, no, no. Right, right. But uh, yeah, I was just sitting right there and I just got a Diet Coke. I didn't have any itch. I didn't have any inclination to nice, want to do dude. it. dude. And then uh, last night, me and Todd went out for our date night. Yeah. And uh, our table wasn't ready yet. So they sent us to the bar to wait. Ooh. 
Yeah, dude. And <laughs> that's usually my dude, that's like. That's how they get you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the thing is like all like, even when you there go, was no one in the restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like, dude. You know what? I was talking in Toronto. There's this uh, Muslim comic, right? Like he doesn't say, "Oh, I'm Muslim" or whatever, but he has a big fan base, and a lot of them are Muslim. But every time he has comedy shows, all the shows are two drink minimums. Like his audience, like they can't. Yeah. Like they can't go to the show because they have to buy two drinks and they're Muslim, so they can't do it. So he has to host his own venues. Just to have people come to the shows. Yeah, that's so fucked. Because that's how they fucking get you, man. Yeah. yeah. And it, I want to talk about too, because like, well, I didn't drink last night. It, was, it felt really good to just say no to the bartender because yeah. she was like, do you want anything to drink? And I was like, no, I'm okay. And it felt fucking good just to like, one, just to have control over saying no to alcohol because yeah. like, again, didn't have a problem, but I just like always- It was just, just so you know, easy. Just very yeah, easy. The yeah. access was always there. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be drinking again soon, but- um, Shots, shots, new channel shots. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm going to last this month, and then when baseball season comes around, I'll probably have some beers at a game. Yeah, some peanuts. Nice. And some peanuts, baby. Okay. <laughs> Why, yeah. That was your go-to? I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Sushi. Yeah, and, uh, cotton candy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the last thing I want to talk about was just my new itch for social media content. Here. Yes. Dude. Zach's been very active. Dude, I've just, I don't give a fuck anymore. Like with whoa, social. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> I'm yeah. posting willy nilly. I don't Damn. give a fuck. You're posting your willy nilly? Yeah, <laughs> dude. Making skits. Just okay. with my cock yep. back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get on your talking. close friends, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just like, it, it feels really good. I just like, I'm just posting. I don't really care about the results anymore. I just like, because like before I was caring so much about trying to fucking get in that algorithm. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, why is your head, man? Why isn't this one doing well? Why isn't that one? Oh, but this one was so much better than that guy's. Yeah. Now I'm yeah. just like, post it. Why'd you point at me? I said that guy. <laughs> like that guy. Was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's how I felt at Vine at one point. Remember? Vine was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta make a Vine today and I gotta... Yeah. The popular page. Yeah. yeah. The, po- Damn, the popular page. <laughs> that name. What a fucking... dumb name for a, like uh, just popular page. Don't here's what's bash. popular. Yeah. Here's yeah. what's popular. You're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. According to who? Who who's <laughs> deciding what's popular? Well, then there was the on the rise page. On the rise. Yeah. Which is like Damn. you're not pop. You're never gonna make it to the popular. Page. You're getting there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it feels yeah. really fucking good, dude. I'm just like, I have YouTube content lined up. We yes, have that's videos. Right. We have a new show Let's fucking up. go, yeah. man. Yeah. You guys are yeah. helping me out with the YouTube video. Hell that's yeah. Right. Um, and then we have your we have a couple sketches coming out too mm-hmm, on, on mm-hmm. the new page. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it just feels yeah. good. Just write and just like shoot stuff and just post. Hell just feels yeah, fucking brother. good. Feels good to be active again. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I want to call out is if anyone's going to the Hive Mind show. Oh, nice. Big, big announcement. We're going to be, Wally's Kebab Cart is going to be serving food at the show before and after their show here in Los Angeles. Wow. Um, me and Zach and then the crew too. What? Uh, when is that happening? It's going to happen okay. April 3rd in Miracle Theater, somewhere in Inglewood by SoFi. Hell yeah. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to make food and we might go on stage and do a little f- some fun gags. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. A little close friends, a little post? close friends post action, <laughs> a little on ice action. Ooh, uh, is that what your pitch was? Yeah, <laughs> I've mind on ice <laughs> every fucking time. Dude, I would love, I would love to put like some type of production, which is on ice. <laughs> Uh, like a pop cart on ice and it's just, <laughs> 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 just out of control. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, thank you guys for watching, liking yes. this video, commenting. Yeah. I guess you don't have to. Not even, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, unsub from this channel. No, 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 fast no, no, as no, you no, can. No, no, no. All right, let's keep this the sub. This channel is no, gone. No, 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 I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna use it. I'm still gonna do stuff on it. <laughs> For what, dude? It's dead. <laughs> no one no, wants it. Still, the people are still here. No, yeah. fifty-seven thousand is all gone. Dude. <laughs> I just see zero. Yeah, <laughs> even the dead ones. No, but it is. <laughs> they yeah. wake up and just unsub. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 I have a feeling I'm not going to use this channel anymore. I think I'm out. <laughs> but yeah, Waleed will be getting the keys back to his own channel. Honestly, thank you very much for letting us use this. Yeah, thank man. You. Yeah. Uh, but new and bigger things are coming for us. We'll get yeah. back into that fucking algorithm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And thank you guys for sticking around mm-hmm. with us. But on the new channel, we have episode 82 coming out. Mm-hmm. On the new channel, mm-hmm. we have a Will and Rusty's best friend test video. Mm-hmm. It's hilarious. Yep on the new channel as well. 
We have big guests. Big guests coming soon. Big guests. Funny brothers. Funny brothers, I think. Yeah, yeah. you know, they yeah. could be funny. They the, could be funny. We got, brothers. Like, yeah. we got like the queen of the internet coming. The too. queen of the inshallah, internet. Inshallah, yeah, yeah. inshallah, inshallah, yeah, yeah, yeah. inshallah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the quarterback of the Bills. Well, no, he, he said that, no. We right? didn't get him. No, we didn't. He said no. Maybe well, the, he, the, he didn't. Did he read say it. anything? He didn't read it yet. <laughs> I, I, had, I had a dream that he saw our message and said, "Nah, I'm good." <laughs> Dude, I, it was so vivid though. <laughs> I thought, I thought it was real. I was going to ask you about it. Everyone unsub from this channel as right. fast as you can. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you. And make sure Love you stay you. tuned for the new channel. Thank you, guys. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.